Hi everybody! This month at Companions on a Journey, we are exploring the theme of what are you carrying in your bucket? So we are going to imagine that each of us carries around a bucket and that bucket holds our thoughts and our feelings and our experiences. And so if you want to turn to the next page, we're going to explore that further. And you're going to notice um, that in your bucket, those thoughts, feelings, and experiences, some of them feel pretty light and other ones are going to feel really heavy. And so you're going to explore that and write that down. So you're going to write what feels light over here and then what feels heavy over here. So some examples of what might feel light are spending time, could be spending time with your family, um, spending time outside, going for a bike ride. Those are some different examples, but it's going to be different for everyone. And then over here, I'm going to write down what feels heavy. So an example for that might be staying up too late or the feeling of sadness might feel really heavy for you. So you can write down what feels light, what feels heavy, and then discuss those as a family and just be aware of what feels light for you and what feels heavy for you. And then to go along with that, on our back page, we have an activity called support system superlatives. And so there are a number of things to fill in and we're going to look at who can support us especially on days when our buckets feel pretty heavy because that's going to happen some days our buckets are going to feel heavy and other days our buckets are going to feel light and so on those days when our buckets feel heavy it's good to have people who can support us. So some of the questions we're going to answer are most likely to make you laugh. So think about who makes you laugh? Um, who is most likely to know when you're having a hard time? Who is most likely to talk with you about your loved one? And so fill those out share those with the family, and then this could be a good thing to hang on to. And when you are having a heavy bucket day, you can turn to this and it can be a good reminder of, hey, here are people who are here to support me. And some days it might feel like, you know, I just need a good laugh today. So, oh yeah, I wrote down who's most likely to make me laugh. And that's someone that you can reach out to to help make you laugh. Other days you might want to really talk about your loved one and that is something that might feel helpful for you on those days. So this is a good thing to hold on to and to discuss as a family. And then our final activity is going to be back on this middle page um, in our grief affirmation section. So these grief affirmations are things that we can read over and can be something that can be something we can repeat to ourselves, can be something that can really ground us throughout the day. So I'm going to read us a couple of examples. So one could be, I allow myself to feel my grief and then let go. Another one is, I take comfort in the memories of my loved one. Another is, is that it's okay that I need time to grieve. And there's some more options for you. So read those over. And if there's one that really sticks with you and feels right, that can be something that you can carry with you and you can repeat to yourself in your head throughout the day um, or maybe even aloud if you're in the right environment and that can be something that um, can can ground you and might be helpful on days when your bucket feels heavy so we hope that these are helpful for activities for you as a family this month and remember that at companions on a journey we are here for you